Behind the scenes. Okay, Yang, are you aware of the the passport bros? I actually made a couple of videos about passport bros in my channel. Are you aware of that? Yeah, I've already uh, watched some of videos about the passport bros. Mm -hmm. and, and usually they are in. I saw a lot in TikTok actually. Yeah, I mean before I don't have an idea what passport bros is. And I tried searching it on on TikTok, and there's a lot of like hate um, comments about passport bros, right? They don't want to deal anymore with Western women because of the reasons that Western women are not traditional anymore. They are aggressive, like this and like that. So they come, for example, to the Philippines because Filipinos, Filipino women are still traditional. So what can what do you say about it? Do you have any experience, or have you ever talked to a Western man already? And you know, did you ask them if uh, why are they looking for a wife or a partner in the Philippines and not in their country? Yeah, I do, cause uh, I'm using dating sites, mm -hmm. and I've talked to some of the. Americans or mm -hmm. white men looking yeah. for a Filipina, um, a girlfriend or a wife leading to a marriage. Yeah, and I've most of them. Mm -hmm. I ask the I ask them what they are looking for because you know the just to start off the conversation. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so they always answered me like, yeah, I like Filipina because they are more into family. They are more into family-oriented um, people. Mm. They are bond or close to their family. And I want to have that uh, when I build my own family, uh, I will have that also. The like, same the, yeah, the, the culture, culture yeah. of the Filipino. Mm -hmm. And so they also add more like... Um, the culture, Filipina are more um, submissive. Like, um, <laughs> what do they mean by submissive? Because the Western women have a very different meaning of submissive. They think that being submissive is being weak, is weakness. So, how do you define it? It's not a submissive like in the in Fifty the... Shades of Grey. <laughs> it's, not, it's not like Fifty Shades of Grey submissive. Yeah, it's not like that. So they like someone, a woman who will follow them. They will decide. the The man will decide for the for the relationship, yeah. for the family, and the woman will follow. Mm, the, like, the like uh, making decision. Yeah, the man will lead, and then the woman will support. Will will yeah. follow his lead, yeah. something like that. Well, I also have the same definition of submissive. Yeah, <laughs> because in the West. They think submissiveness is like easy to manipulate, easy to control. That is their that is their understanding why these passport bros are coming to the Philippines to uh, find a partner mm -hmm. because they think Filipino women are uneducated, are yeah submissive in a way that it's easy to control us and to manipulate us and to exploit us. Mm -hmm. That's what they're thinking about it. They think that this man just wants to take advantage. Well, I don't know, but I don't see it that that way. Also, did they um did they tell you about why you don't you don't find partner in your country anymore? Did you ask them that? Yeah, I ask once because they are comparing Filipina and the woman in their country, mm -hmm. and then he answered me like, yeah, because my uh, the the woman here is very aggressive. <laughs> aggressive yeah and they are um unrespectful that's mm. what that's what the the guy told me they don't respect them yeah. as men anymore and they are becoming more masculine than than men to add up um women in their country because they are couple right mm. they make their own decision they don't include their partner as um you know when they're making decision they don't include their partner mm. so they it's like they're, they're independent. Bypass. bypass. Yeah, they're yeah. so liberated. That's the word. Mm, they are so liberated. Liberated. That's what they t they told you. Yeah, and the, another thing I remembered is they don't want to have kids. Women there, they don't want to have kids. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know why, but 
I don't know, Filipina. Filipinas wants to have we kids. Want, yeah, we want kids. <laughs> yeah, especially if, if it's mixed, you know, it's beautiful. Yeah, maybe they're, they want to, you know. To preserve their body. Their body. Like they don't want to go through all those process of conceiving yeah. and then like giving birth. Because they don't, they just want to preserve their beauty. I mean, beauty is when you get old. I mean, it's it it's fades. Way, yeah, yeah. <laughs> beauty fades. So, what do you think about the Western women saying that we are uneducated? That's why these men are coming here to get a wife. Do you think that is very offensive to say? Yeah. It is insulting. It's I think it's very insulting. Yeah. Yeah, right? Because here we have education. Yeah, uh, we have education. We have um, a lot of women are finishing their, their degrees and um, working. Because, you know, here in the Philippines, just being a cashier, you are required to have a degree. Yeah, right? <laughs> at least four years. Yeah, I, year yeah. Challenge. I mean, it's so difficult to find a job here if you don't have a, a degree. So, yeah. So... Uh, one other thing is, um, I always say to my viewers about this, uh, about the passport bros mm -hmm. um, coming here. Like, like, dear passport bros, if you come here to the Philippines and find a life uh, partner, lifetime partner, a wife, then I think you should adapt with our dating culture and not bring your dating culture here in the Philippines because that is number one also number one problem why you are having a hard time with uh, with Western women because um, in the first place they think um, you guys are just sleeping around so if you are going to take that dating culture here in the Philippines then you are also going to scare the Filipinos you're gonna scare Filipino women Filipino women because they might also think that, oh, you're just sleeping around. Mm -hmm. You're really not serious, right? And because our... Have fun. Yeah, you just want to have fun, which is a lot of men really do it here. I mean, a lot of Western men really do it here. They come here and then they just sleep with a um, few different Filipinas, Filipino women, which is... Which is, I, I'm not really... I don't agree with... I mean, I'm not... I don't want to promote that. We still have a conservative culture, yeah. right? There are a lot of women here who are still conservative and I don't advise men who come here and do that. Yeah, and there are more Filipinas that are looking for a serious relationship. Yeah. yeah. They don't like to just to have fun. Yeah, Filipinas are very soft, right? Yeah. Like, for example, there is... Um, there is this afam. <laughs> There's this expat. Yeah, afam. Uh, an expat who who tells a girl, a Filipina girl, says he says that, oh, I like you. Automatically, the girl will believe that and feel special and feel like she you're already like, courting yeah. or you're already dating. Yeah. She will believe that. Filipinas are very soft and very loyal. So that's if, true. You're right. If you're gonna sleep around and you don't tell, you're not honest to the Filipina, oh, I uh, just want to have fun and I'm also sleeping with other women. If you don't say that, then she will, she will just believe you that you really like her. But if she found out that not really that you are just having fun and you're just really using her, mm -hmm. then she will discard you. And then they will be like brokenhearted, thinking that men just wants to use women, that that foreign men just come, just want to come here to sleep with with Filipinas. So it's it's not good. Also, it will be um, impacted. For example, I the the guy the foreigner told me, "I mm. like you. You're so beautiful," mm. and I will believe to him. Yeah. And then eventually I'll find out that it's not. It's not true. That he's also doing that to other yeah. women. It's like a gaslighting, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So for me, if I eventually find out that, oh, it's not true, I will have a trust issue. To yeah, myself. exactly. Yeah, so. Exactly. I think that is also one of the reasons why Western women are feeling that way. Yeah. Because of the hookup culture that you have in the West men or women you do the same things 
the women it's not only the men who's doing that also women doing that there that's why you both have trust issues and then you go to other countries like philippines because you think that women here are more respectful and more loyal and more submissive but if you start doing that like just playing around um playing with filipinas hearts then they will also become like the western women thinking that oh can i trust this guy Maybe I shouldn't really, I, I shouldn't uh, trust him. I shouldn't fall in love with him. Maybe he just wants to sleep. Okay, let's just sleep. Mm -hmm. you, you will start like you're going to influence the Filipinas. Or, because to be honest, there's a lot of Filipinas who are like that already, right? Yeah. Especially in the city. Mm -hmm. there, we can say that, yes, uh, Filipinas have a very conservative culture still. But we will not deny that also there are so many Filipinas. girls here already who are who got influenced who are already strongly influenced with this western culture they really and, know the process yeah and we call them more westernized already because they're like just hooking up also they just yeah. want to have to have fun right uh, but to be honest they're broken they're they're they are broken in a way that they have trust issues because they gave the, themselves to a lot of men already who they thought are serious about them, yeah. but they found out they're not. So they they learned how to like play with uh, the feelings. Yeah, to play with it. So please don't don't do that here. <laughs>